Thank you for the next four evenings to come. Thank you, Charlie. So, Jim, do you think the 49ers will make Super Bowl hoping something can stop the 49ers so it's not another blowout? Hazleton entertaining number two Washington Redskins in the NFC Zoo. Bishop Hoban's gym, or I should say the St. Joseph's gym in Hazleton as it's called, and they were alive. Hassan Abdullah, the turnaround jumper for the sophomore. It was an up and down game real close the whole time. Hoban's Tony Madrosky, the pump fake, the 10 footer's good. Then Hazleton on the give and go. Greg Morocco, he lays it in. Rich Morgan's one of those fine guards that Hoban's has, and he nails the three for the Argents. Again, it's Morgan with the leaner. Hoban was down by only five in the second quarter. Then Hoban nails the three to tie it up. Marty Kajani makes it, and it's a tie ball game. It went into double overtime before Hazleton pulls it out over Bishop Hoban this evening. Now let's check out the boys' scoreboard from this evening. To Mark Super Hazleton outlasts Hoban. 83-78, and this one was a battle at St. Joe's Gym in Hazleton. Chris Long from way outside for three. Hazleton built a 12-point lead, but Hoban fights back. Tony Madrowski drives the nice look to Marty Keithline, and the Argents went up three. This one would go two overtimes, though. Hassan Abdullah scores inside. Hazleton outlasts Hoban. The final, 83-75. to Another Division I game spits area by 11 over Berwick. It was Natticoke, no problem with Crestwood. And Coughlin, 102. Valch Morgan with the left hand gets the bucket and the foul. Hoban by three at halftime. Second half. Hoban once again. Morgan to Madrovsky. He too gets the bucket and foul. Then the Mounties would finally come to life. It went to double overtime. Greg Marachko. He lays it on up and in. Hazleton rallies of 7 0. Hoban 6 and 1. 85 78 the final in double over. Take it. Yes, you take Second it half of the season. Safe guess? It's a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Monday through Sunday, it's a safe guess this time of year. The coaches have ranked Hazel to number three and Nanakoke number five in our weekly high school basketball poll. Tonight, both clubs got together at the zoo with records of 5-0 and in the Wyoming Valley Conference Division I. Capacity crowd is always at the zoo to see this one. Good first half of basketball. The Mountaineers, Sal Wills, lobs it inside of Hassan Abdul, and he gets the two points. The Trojans love the fast break. Here off the transition, they get themselves in. Easy two points. Third quarter, and Hazleton starts to pull away. John D'Acostino off the dribble, pulls up, and drills the jumper. Fourth quarter, D'Acostino will drive to the hole, turns playmaker, great pass. Abdullah lays it on up and in. Hazleton wins big, 77-55 was the final of Banana Coke tonight. Elsewhere, information generation. Had to be there to see it, but an explosion of points tonight. Hazleton trailing by one point. About seven and a half minutes later, they had a 42 to 19 run completed, and the game was over. Good evening, everyone. It was showdown night at St. Joe's Gymnasium in Hazleton tonight, where the Mountaineers played host of the Trojans of Nanticoke with first place on the line in the second half of conference play. The final before an overwhelming crowd, Hazleton won it 77-55. Now the highlights from tonight's game. The Trojans of Nanticoke used the outside shot to grab the early first quarter lead as John Beggs buries a pair from long range. Sean Ribnick would then take it hard to the hoop. He gets fouled. Three-point play in the five-point Nanticoke lead. Later in the quarter, Len Charnecki would drive, spin, go to the glass, and the Trojans were in pretty good shape. But in the second half, the Mountaineers put on a tremendous show. They outscored Nanticoke 23-4 to come from one point behind to go out in front by 19. On the break, Chris Chris Long takes it all the way in for a pair. John DiCostino goes all the way in for two. Hazelton, a convincing 75-55 winner over the Trojans of Nanico. I, I just can't say enough about it. Without Matt Gabriel, these kids responded. We knew we can do it. A lot of people were writing us off, believe me. I saw it. I mean, the lion's den was set, but they weren't willing to give up. And they came through with a great win, starting three sophomores. Those kids are great. Again, before a packed house at St. Joe's Gymnasium, Hazleton knocks off Nanticoke tonight, 77-55, and local. Warm place for yes. the honeymoon because yes. it is nasty outside. But they did get basketball in tonight. So many teams right now on the edge. A win away from a league title or a district playoff. And that's where we're going to go tonight. The teams on the edge, starting with Pocono Mountain and Stroudsburg in the Centennial by the coaches and are coming off a one-point loss to Altoona last night. Tonight, Pete White and his ball club were in Danville as the Ironmen were looking to put the strong arm on the millionaire. Hurry, Pete! Please. 
First quarter action, all millionaires. Jeffrey Clack in the paint, banks it in off the glass. Back come the Ironman off the break. Keith Webb, the far skirts, he lays it up and in. But Williamsport was a cut above tonight. Andy Cicerelli, quick inside to Clack for another bucket right there as Williamsport goes on to route Danville. 95-58 was the final. Elsewhere, high school basketball tonight. Lewisburg in a route over. A fadeaway good, plus the foul. Hazelton up 12. Now, Chris Long, who walks up to the top of the key and hits for three of his game high, 31. Hoban got to within four in the fourth quarter, but that's it. Hazelton goes on to win it. They stay undefeated. Hoban now with two losses, 66-58 the final. Sid Michaels goes flag to flag. Hoban kept it close, but Fahrenheit also had to put up with the pressures of being Winston Cup champ. Was the final tonight. Elsewhere in boys high school back. Pistons won meet on all with the Wyoming Valley Conference game, finding the Argents of Bishop Hoban playing host of the Mountaineers of Hazleton. The final on this one, Hazleton won it 66-58. Now the highlights from tonight. Again, the Mountaineers attraction. of Hazleton broke open a tight basketball game with the power run. Hassam Abdullah goes off the glass. The lead was eight points. The next trip up the court, Chris Long on the break. The shot is blocked, goaltending on Bishop Hoban. The lead was now 10. Later in the quarter, Sam Wills buries a shot from the outside, gets foul. Three-point play, 13-point lead. Hoban made a run later in the game, but time and time again, Chris Long hit the big shot. Hazelton over Bishop Hoban tonight, 66-58 in local high school basketball. Now here's the rest of today. Buries the three. Bruce Leib decides to call that play again. Chris Long will get the chance this time. We're at number 14, and Hazelton had another three. The Scranton defense decided to move outside, and that's when Hassan Abdullah took it to the hole. Hazelton took it to Scranton. 66-47 was the final. In the other quad A game, Coughlin beat Pittston area 64-62. Elsewhere from District to a Class A semifinal boy. Yesterday that the high school basketball season started, now we're winding down. That's what you think, but you don't have to go through this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy kidding. You know, really, we're less than three weeks away from the state finals at Hershey, and that means the districts have to decide their champions. Most districts in the semifinal mode tonight. The District 2 Quad A boy semis at King's College in Wilkesbury, third ranked Hazleton against Scranton. And Hazleton in white, and watch the great effort on the offensive boards by Hassan Abdullah. He gets it somehow to go and the mounts are up by three. Scranton's Chris Parker drifts down the lane and he is totally uncovered and he gets the easy pickings there. Then Hazelton gets it down to Abdullah. The baseline jumper is good. Hazelton's up by nine. Then off the inbounds play, Chris Long hits the 19-footer. Scranton stayed close in the first half, but Hazelton wins it by 19, 66-47. The District 2 trip. Smolinski goes off the glass for a pair. Marty Burns comes right back and scores on the drive. Happy over Old Ford tonight, 58-48. Game 2, Hazelton and Scranton. Matt Gabriel back in the Mountie lineup. He hits the three-point shot from the top of the key. The Red Raiders roared right back to keep the game very tight as Chris Getz on the lob goes off the glass for a pair. This game was nip and tuck all the way tonight. Hassan Abdullah on the follow-up as Hazelton advances. <laughs> We start while in the Class A championship game, three overtimes. Hafey beat Hannon, 66-64, the final there. To the John Long Center we go. You can look at Jim's score sheet here. I guess we'll all find out at the same time what happened tonight. Great basketball tonight, and four champions were crowned. Good evening, everyone. The District 2 championship finals in boys high school basketball on the line tonight with four key games on tap and one runner-up game for placements in the inter-districts next week. The scoreboard triple overtime. Hafey defeats Bishop Hannon. Hazelton knocks off Coughlin by nine. GAR gets by Carbondale area. Sid Michaels is the highlights from those three games. In tonight's Quad A title game, Hazelton works the give and go to perfection. Chris Long gives to a cutting Sal Wills for the lay-in. At the other end, Coughlin's Mike Day outbattles Hassan Abdullah for this rebound. He puts it back up and gets the two-pointer. But Abdullah would answer at the other end with the drive, the double pump, and the score. Hazelton wins their eighth straight district Quad A title tonight down in Coughlin. They got their slice of the pie now. They have the league championship in the district also. They had a great record, and this is probably one of the most well-balanced teams I've ever coached. In the single-A title game, Hafey's Randy Marchetti, the nice feed to Blue Mantle, who scores 
Anderson gets fouled. The Vikings led by four. Hannon came back, though. Terry McNulty, the leaner from the baseline, it goes. The Golden Lancers take the lead, but Hafey would pull this one out in three overtimes. They win the single-A title, 66-64 over Bishop Hannon. In the double-A title game, GAR's Bob Sora finds Damian Preston for the third period lay-in at a five-point GAR lead. But Andy Siegel leads the Carbondale area comeback. They go up 35-32 before Siegel gets called for his fourth foul and goes to the bench with 2.55 left in the third. It stayed close until Carbondale area went on a 6 nothing run late in the game. It was 46-42 with a minute 58 to play. GAR rallies first. Sura drives the lane for the deuce to make it 47-44. Two foul shots made it a one-point game, and then the Grenadiers with the turnover. They go in for a 48-47 lead with 101 left. Carbondale area had three chances in the final 16 seconds to win it, but couldn't come up with a game winner. GAR, the District 2 champ, 48-47. We all felt we had to do a little something extra being down five in the final minute. We all bared down, got a couple big steals, a couple big baskets, and we came out the winner in the end. You guys didn't quit either. No, we had wait until the buzzer rings. That's when we quit. How's it feel to be a district champ? Oh, great. Greatest feeling. Next up for the guys, the PIAA Interdistrict Playoffs next week. Sid Michaels, Eyewitness Sports. And Palmer calls it quits again. And the action never quits in high school basketball. The playoffs tonight. Dave Moulton has it all next. Fast facts on Ford Escort. Fact, Escort is 3,600.